Nathan Hector. Uh, I'm an actor, host, um, AR, um, work at a concierge company called HCT, so I'm also a lifestyle manager. Um, the whole journey for me started at 16, 16 years of age. I caught my second case. Uh, I done 160 hours of community service. Um, and that was just before I got into college. And the college I went to was Chippenham Theatre uh, in North London. I left school with probably the worst GCSEs ever. Oh. My favourite subjects in school were um, drama and music. And it's funny because that's all, I, that's all my life revolves around now is movies and music, you know. Um, I, whilst I was in college, I decided that I wanted to start from the bottom. I had no connections, I had no network, no nothing. So I just said to myself, yo, like, if you're going to do this, you're going to do it properly and you're going to do what it takes to get on, which means going to make teas for other actors. So I started off as a tea white, as a runner. Um, so that was between 16 and 17. And then partly when I was 17, I was an extra. Um, so I was an extra in like 4321 directed by Noel Clark. Um, and that was like my first ever time on a big movie set. Um, we, we shot in Pinewood, Pine, Pineapple, or it's either Pinewood or Pineapple Studios in Uxbridge. Um, I was an extra in Shank, uh, I was an extra in EastEnders a couple of times and this was all just a back of using um, casting websites like starnow.com and castingforbro.com um, I then went from being an extra to online actor now what that means is that I landed a role in an online drama series called No ID playing a character called Labels um, so funnily enough I had actually applied to another project of the director that drew me into No ID and he hit me up about No ID and was like, yo, I've got this other project I'm working on. Um, I was like 17 turning 18 at the time. I think I was just about to turn 18. So I met him in like May 2009. So I was still in college, mm -hmm. funnily enough. Um, so this was like back in 2009. Cool. So I went from T-Boy to uh, being, no, yeah, I went from a T-boy to an extra, to an online actor. Um, so we done three series with no ID. We met um, on a random Wednesday or Thursday and he was like, yo, I've got this series, I'm gonna do it for YouTube. And it ended up being no ID. So we done three series with no ID. And then in between the series, I was doing like online short movies. So like Illegal Activity, YOLO Therapy, Melody. And then the biggest one for me at the time was 20th June, June, of, June the 20th, 2013, we released Fifty Shades of Tanisha, which starred myself, Juan Asin, who's huge now, and Jessica Plummer, who's just come off EastEnders, and I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Thing exploded, we got like, we've now got 400,000 views, but to get even 100,000 views or 50,000 views on a short film back then, and trend was crazy, you know, because YouTube back then wasn't, it, like, it wasn't what it is now, you know what I mean? Um, network, 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 got an agent, got dropped by my agent. Um, and then the year I got dropped by my agent, I ended up getting cast in a movie called The Intent, which is now on Netflix. Then we done The Intent 2, which was on Netflix. Then I done The Weaker Movie, which was also on Netflix. Um, so I ended up doing three feature films after getting dropped by my agent. And everything I had done prior to my agent was the reason I got the agent. And the reason I lost the agent was because I turned down a role that I wasn't comfortable playing. Um, and then, 2016, even though I was in the Intent movie and everything was great, I still felt some type of confidence knock. Mm. And I realized that I was actually more friends with artists at the time than actors, even though I knew a bunch of great actors and I still do now. But I realized that all the events I was going to were mostly music based. Um, so I just woke up one day and said, fuck it, I'm gonna try this hosting thing. And it just, it literally just went from there. I'd go to like random shows and random headline shows and just end up on the mic just hosting. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. It just happened. And as the crowds have got bigger, I have got more confident. And to be fair, like even when it comes to the hosting thing and me be, being able to control thousands of people, it stems from me being a kid. Okay, tell me what it 
illest. You know I'm the illest. She from California, says she don't know where the bill is. Shout out to the hometown, I know that they gon' feel this. When I hit the club, I walk in with a small village. And nothing's off limits. When you got the sauce, you know they run it off with it. Now she acting freaky, she was coming off timid at first. But I guess it really wasn't authentic, yes. And they come in all sizes. We got new hope risings. I guess I might as well dive in. No, it's not surprising the way you switched up. What advice would I give to a younger person trying to get into acting? and hosting, or just the entertainment industry in general. Advice I would give is network the fuck out of this industry. Build relationships and just work hard at what it is that you want to do. Don't say you want to do acting and then go and try and be a chef because it doesn't make any sense. Um, train, I, I have never trained in my life to be an actor. It's just something that's naturally come to me. I know what I'm good at, so I stay in my lane. Um, it's the same thing with hosting. I knew that the crowds were always going to get bigger, um, but it takes a certain type of. You need a certain type of skill to be able to walk on a stage in front of thousands of people and command their energy back, you know. Um, and it takes a certain type of person to be able to walk into or, or run out on a stage in front of eight thousand people and have them going crazy because that's not normal. You can't just. It doesn't just happen like that. You can't just wake up and they be like, ah, oh, I'm going to go to a festival today and my friend is going to bring me out on stage in front of 8,000 people and I'm actually going to be able to control it. It don't work like that. It's taken years of hurdles and, and, and crowds not reacting like that and me hosting in front of 50 people, 20 people and feel, feeling like I'm talking to myself, you know? So um, a lot of it is leverage and relationships and the key word is relationships. Like I watched an interview with Scooter Braun the other day, Justin Bieber's manager, and he said that the worst thing that people do, especially the younger generation, is think that it's all these gurus and mentors that are older than them that have already done it, are going to be the ones to change their lives, and it's not. It's your peers. It's, it's actually your peers, and those are the people that will continue to bring you opportunities based off relationships. And it really resonated with me because I used to think like that. Oh, the older guys in the scene might give me a, a break or they might change my life. And then I realized I've got so many fucking peers and it's my peers is tours that I've ended up, ended up hosting. It's still bangles who ended up bringing me out, bring me out of wireless. It's Sideman who ended up bringing me out of Fire in the Park at Charlie Strauss Festival. It's Nikki Slimting and Femi Oyaneering that gave me those roles in the intent. And that's because I've got great fucking relationships, you know? And I think once you have great relationships and you're just hard working at what you do and you put in the work, the rest will just follow. And cool. yeah, and I think even just going back to the whole hosting thing, like that skill really stems from me just being a kid. Like when I was like nine, 10, 11, I used to Google Eminem's lyrics and the game's lyrics and 50 Cent's lyrics and G Unit's lyrics and just learn the lyrics off by heart within like half an hour and then just rap them to my granddad like I was the artist. So it, it, what I'm doing now is a direct reflection of who I was as a child. But it's just my, it's just a inner kid of me coming up, but just on a bigger platform, if you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm just, that's, I'm, I've always had the energy. It's just that I'm putting it into that now. <laughs>